Spring is here, and that means spring sports also, spring sports-related injuries. But there are things student-athletes can do to prevent getting hurt on the field. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Pixoto has this story new at 5. After a long winter of being cooped up indoors, many kids are excited to get outside and start playing spring sports. But it's important to make sure they don't overdo it. Spring is here, which means softball, tennis, and lacrosse are back in full swing. But so are injuries. Well, it seems to be getting younger and younger over time. Orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist Dr. James Mayer says sports-related injuries are becoming more common in younger athletes. Kids tend to be doing sports, the same sport, year-round, and so that just puts a toll on their body parts and they don't have a chance to rest. Dr. Mayer says a common spring sports-related injury is found in young baseball players. That ulnar collateral ligament that sometimes requires Tommy John surgery is a frequent uh, problem nowadays. To avoid this injury, pitchers should only throw a limited number of balls per game. For example, he says younger pitchers can safely throw 40 pitches per game, while older players may be able to double that number. You want to make sure that there's several days of rest in between. While shoulder and elbow injuries are common in softball and tennis players, other athletes should pay special attention to different body parts. The knee and the ankle are more common with lacrosse and track and field. And golf takes a toll on, on one's back, so those are some of the more common injuries. Dr. Mayer adds, staying in decent shape and proper nutrition are common sense ways to help prevent injuries. And when it comes to good nutrition for athletes, Dr. Mayer says it's all about eating plenty of protein and carbohydrates. I'm Julianne Pixoto, Eyewitness News.